Hello, and welcome to my single player world. And this is what I have so far. Right here, pillar of netherrack. Nah, just kidding. I was out exploring. And um, one of the ways that I actually really like to explore, especially after I get to the point where I've got diamond tools, I have iron armor. Granted, I probably could upgrade to diamond at this point, but uh, I usually stick with iron for quite some time just because I like seeing my diamonds build up. But anyways, one of the things I like to do is I like to explore via the nether. So in case you did not know, when you go to the nether and you travel one block in the nether, that's equivalent to eight blocks in the overworld or in the real world. So what I do like to do quite often is when I come to the nether, I will just start traveling in random directions in the nether and then create nether portals to go and kind of just pop into the overworld and find some fun places. So... Ooh, excuse me. That's what we were uh, doing there. I thought about running all the way home before I started the video, but I figured, you know what? That's kind of a fun entrance. So there's one there. You can see there's one here. These two are actually fairly close together. Um, they actually are in the same biome when you're in the overworld, but it was more of a, I was just doing kind of a quick exploratory mission. I think probably here in the near future, I'll start traveling out this way to, um, to see what I can find in the overworld as well. And then I'll travel in the extreme of this direction as well. So I have a little bit of a run here. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut and come back right when I am, uh, when I'm back. Right. And we're back. So, um, a little bit of a long hallway, not too long. I, I probably actually could have just, uh, vamped and talked for the rest of that walk, honestly. It's probably going to be more work to edit out that tiny chunk than it would have been just to, uh, come up with some rambly gunk to say. But anyways, here we go. Heading back to our, our world, and it's kind of funny. You can see here that, um, where our main nether portal is that we go back to our home is on an island, which is very fitting because in the overworld, we are on a giant island. So let's head back without too much ado and show you kind of what I've been spending most of my Minecraft time in. Uh, for those who have watched the, the super, super mega extreme playthrough series, you know that not much has happened so far progress wise. But in this world, um, because it's not hardcore and, and it's a little bit more cash, I've definitely made quite a bit more progress. So. Let's start by, that was obviously the mine. I'm in the process of redoing the staircase to make it look nice and pretty. You can see where I ran out of wood stairs, but I am going to be doing wood stairs, not the cobblestone. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do the walls with. I did just make it all uniform cobblestone for now. And then I'm also going to be doing upside down stairs on the ceiling here to kind of make it look nice. But again, I'm not really sure which... Uh, type which block type I'm going to use it'll probably and then obviously these two the wall and the upside down stairs will have to match so not sure what I'm doing there and then you can see there is a style change here this is intentional I will be keeping the cobblestone and this style from this point up and that's mostly just to kind of signify the purdy area and when you're up top here looking down that's kind of where the sight line ends for the walls over here we have some redstone stuff we'll take a look at that in just a moment but we can come up here and so the idea is when you come back from mining this is kind of where you process everything so this is where i pretty much do all of my iron so let's go ahead and drop that in this is where you can see actually let's add that this is where i put all the stuff that i need to smelt or recently was smelted um, and that's from these as well and then over here we just uh, are gonna drop in our blocks Right here is our automatic stone making machine. If you're not familiar with the setup, basically you put, well, not just stone, but anything you want to smelt, you basically put in here. Let's go ahead and we'll put the meat in. Uh, you put that in, it gets f trickled into the furnace via the hopper here. This hopper is where we put our excess coal, so this will feed our coal. And then down here, it outputs everything. So, and then this is our auto sorter or part of one of our auto sorters. So the way this guy works is, as you saw me do, I put a bunch of random materials in there. And then if they have a proper home, they'll get filtered. So this is all like my standard cobble, dirt, gravel, the three different stone types. And then here's our overflow of anything that didn't get filtered. 
So those of you who have watched previous single player videos of mine will know that I used to have a giant one of these in a other single player world and it was in the nether. I actually made my storage room in the nether. That was a really fun world. It's actually a world I still play in. It's uh, probably one of my favorite worlds, honestly. But anyways, um, I decided to change things up. This world, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have several groups of these that are distributed around kind of the compound. And you'll see what I mean by that when we go up top for the different types. So, for example, this is all the stuff that I typically get from mining. So this is when I come up from mining, I'm able to dump basically everything that I've got from my mining run into its appropriate chest. And then I can come up here and this is the continuation of the storage room. We've got all of our valuables here, random junk here, and then just kind of all of our different uh, building blocks, um, wood craftable items and things like that. So if we come out here, you'll see that, uh, what? Uh, how close to day are we? Uh, we're getting there. We're just going to wander through the night. We should be fine. Uh, but you can see we've got several different buildings and things are kind of spread out. Um, and this is something, again, I actually really like to do is have different functions for buildings. So here is our house. We might as well pop in here. Very simple. I just have some fishing stuff here. And that's because I primarily fish off the docks of this little house. Let's get to morning. Why not? As long as we're here. So anyways, you can see here, got our fishing pole so we can just sit out here and just fish the day away. If we come down here, we've got this little guy. This is our enchanting room slash kind of repairing area so we can get all that going. This is where we keep all of our lapis. We wander around over here. Um, back here, this path and all this over here is because this is where our farm and animal farms used to be when I first started this world. They're now all over there. We've got this tunnel here, which we'll come back to. And then if we come up here, uh, kind of a fun fact, I wish I had video or a screenshot or something. When I first built this world, I had that little house, storage house was the everything. And then my idea was to build like a bunch of towers and, and things that were all connected via bridges. And so I actually had two different castle towers that were over here that I've demolished and uh, and changed. But this is one of the remaining ones. Oh, there's a skeleton over there. Hey, buddy. And one over there. Oh, wow. So this is a remaining tower. I do not know if this is going to stay or what I'm going to do with that. But there it is. All right, so coming over here, you can see this is our farm area. We've got a pretty good area. We've got our nice old dog. Hey, buddy, how's it going? How's it going? Um, we've got a little infinite water source, a little well source here for us. We've got major crops, potatoes, corn, carrots, and beets. We've got a chicken egg collector. Um, the reason these two hoppers are covered is this used to be bigger, but I got tired of not having a pathway, so I shrunk it. Anyways, we've got our animals, we've got pigs, we've got sheep, we've got the llamas, we've got the cows, and we have our trusty steed, which I uh, am very happy to have got. That was quite a journey to get. I Actually, that was one of the going through the nether portals that we came through, finding a horse, leading it all the way back through here. Uh, we've got our pumpkin patches here that are all growing. This is a new style I'm trying, by the way for growing pumpkins because I've never really had a pumpkin farm that I liked. So I'm trying this as a kind of a minimal thing and you can see I've got several different plotches and the idea is I could swap them out for melons and stuff. But uh, here's our farm and then we've got our little farmhouse on our nether wart, uh, which this is our dump bin. So let's go ahead and let's just throw our bread in there. So just like back in the storage house, this goes to an auto sorter as well. So we can come in here. This is where I process most of my food, which eh, we're fine on food for now. And if we come down here, you can see a much bigger auto sorter setup. So we've got all of our different items here. Um, I'm not going to read through all of them because I don't feel like it. And you can see them. And then we've got our overflow. This is probably the one that will be the biggest out of all the auto sorters that I make. I do intend to have this actually loop all the way back around to probably about here-ish. Um, to, to fit all the different farmable items and their seeds and the wood and all that stuff. So, And then the wood is actually interesting because the wood farm, or my tree farm, used to be right here. But I moved it so that I could have all of my stuff here. So I actually need to rebuild the wood farm and it'll probably be one of the next projects I tackle. But let's go ahead and let's take a quick walk down our tunnel. 
So if we take a look down here, this is our tunnel and we've got our snazzy little armory and um, item destroyer area right here. Uh, mostly this armory is kind of just for funsies. Um, I don't really use it. The chests do have just random stuff in it, but meh, I don't really use it. And then if we come over here and we walk down our snazzy little tunnel and I'm not, again, kind of like with the ceiling on the stairs in the mine. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the ceiling here. Not really sure. But we can come out here and this is where our turtle farm is starting. So if we wander up over here, you can see we've got some eggs going and some turtles that are just kicking it. So I've n I haven't seen any of these eggs hatch. I don't know how long they take. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know if I need to let, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know if I uh, need to let these guys like go back to the ocean or or what. So there they sit as an experiment. Experiment. Okay. And then that's. I think that's basically it. Um, did we look at everything? We looked at the farm. We looked at the tunnel. Yeah, we looked at everything. But what I can do, and this is something that we would not do in the hardcore world is I did want to kind of show you whenever I start a single player world I like to switch into creative mode and fly around kind of the immediate areas a little bit and just kind of see what I'm working with and see if I get inspired so let me just show you why I particularly enjoyed this map so you can see that this waterway I first explored via boat and it does make a entire loop and you've got this little bay right here and then it also loops all the way back around which is fantastic and then i actually dug this out to make a little uh, spillway and then there's another little river system that i connected through right here as well so there's a lot of little waterways but the fun thing I realized as I started to explore this island and what drove me to move into the uh, exploratory creative mode, if you will, is we are on a giant island. So we are on one ginormous island, which is cool. And then we've got this little mini island inside that is uh, protected by this river. So my initial idea was I was going to surround, as I said, this entire kind of area just with a bunch of towers and connect bridges to them and that was going to be the compound idea. Each tower would have its own purpose, but I kind of didn't like that idea as I started building it out. Um, it just it didn't fit the th kind of what I felt it, it should look like. So I'm going more for this flatter style, I think. And I think we're going to just kind of keep spreading. And this is going to basically be the farm island. Um, I think I'm going to make over here a village. I'll transplant some villagers over here. And I think I'm just going to turn this whole little kind of section all through here into a giant village. And I'll probably try and make it look as close to kind of the standard or the default Minecraft villages. In that there'll be little farm plotches and stuff. And then uh, I think what I'll then end up doing is probably, as you can see over here, this fantastic, fantastic little uh, plateau here over a ravine. I think I'll end up building a castle for me over here in the future. So that's kind of the plan for this world. This is going to be a series, by the way, for this world where I will just check in every once in a while. Um, no. Apparently I activated my phone. Um... I will just check in every once in a while after I've made significant progress in the world and kind of just show you guys the progress. This isn't going to necessarily be a um, a playthrough world. The hardcore is definitely where we're going to be doing the playthrough. I will say, though, that a lot of the things that you saw here in this world, such as the auto sorters and setting up farms and things like that, we will be doing all of that same type of thing in the hardcore uh, world or the super mega extreme playthrough um, world. That, that is for sure, because I really like playing with redstone. And there's several other redstone contraptions that we will be adding as well. Um, so yeah, that is, that's this world. I, uh, I like it a lot. It's, it's been a lot of fun to be working in. Obviously, I'm going to keep working in it. I need to extend this just a little bit as well. Uh, we are going to create another auto sorter for um, random items that we are going to connect out back here. 
So we're actually going to put it right, probably right here. This is where the farm used to be. But I think we'll have another small auto sorter here where we'll sort like um, wool, uh, sticks, flowers, just some of that random stuff that I always seem to end up with in my inventory. But uh, yeah, I don't know what is going to be done when we come back to this world next. We'll probably at least have a tree farm. I'm sure there'll be some additions and changes to all the stuff. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode. So... Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. What super mega bonus outro time. This is a single player world that I was referring to in, uh, in this episode that I mentioned that I had a lot of fun with, that I had a giant auto sorter. So I thought I'd just do a quick little show of some of the things in this world that we will definitely be bringing to the other world. The first is this guy right here, which is our automatic sugarcane harvester. And this thing is fantastic because if we um, trigger it manually here, you'll see that as soon as it grows, these pistons push out, drop it into the water, and then blam, and it just triggered by itself because something grew there. So yeah, it it's really cool. This is definitely something we will be adding into the single player world. The other thing we will definitely be adding in is train systems. I didn't mention it in, in that episode, but I have an idea of how I want to actually have some trains transporting between some of the storage points to move materials from, for example, that stone or the mining storage area to the farming storage area and then if we run down here really quick let's pop into the nether and i just wanted to show off the giant sorting line that i had created in this world oh so long ago and uh, this series is actually still up on youtube so if you want to see kind of this world in the making and kind of updates on this world way back in time you can check that out on the channel um, if I'm not lazy, I linked it somewhere up there, there, and I had to look at my preview to make sure I was pointing the right area, and, uh, or in the description or somewhere. Oh, what are you doing here, bud? Get out of here. So this was the giant sorting, giant sorting system that I had in this world, and it uh, continued back to here. We had two different overflows simply because this overflow overfilled so often. Um, and then this actually wraps, or this actually has three different drop points, interestingly enough. So here we can put all of our blocks that gets filtered here. This is for junk and that gets filtered to some chest behind, or no, this is for potions. Excuse me, I should have looked there. And this gets filtered all the way back into that room. We'll look at that in a sec. And then here is our uh, junk stuff. And the junk stuff is... Let's run over here. Run, run, run. You gotta be quick. This is the outro. Not that I've done outros lately, but they might be a thing. You can see this is where the junk comes in. And it just filters to chests very, very haphazardly. Um, just to be overflow for junk. And then if we run, 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 run. Oh, looks like I have some problems there. I'll have to look into run 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 you can see that the potion box that i talked about comes all the way over to here this is where all the potion materials drop off so yep this is the world i was mentioning again if you want to check this world out in more detail and kind of see the progression of this world you can check it out on the channel but that is it for this time i am out for reels talk to you later